So welcome to Koi Chronicles. And in this chronicle, we'll be talking about the water quality in this vat and what I've been challenged with and what I've done to overcome it or hoping to achieve and do to overcome it. I've got the feeder out here so I'm going to start putting some food in the morning at half past seven in the afternoon at half past one and then in the evening again at half past seven see how that goes literally dropping out about 10 grams each feed still need to get rid of the kahaku in here making a mess as much as the fryers as well to be fair but I'm going to show you some footage of all the all the poop on the floor basically and I need a new pump which I've ordered and I've been waiting since March the 20th but it's a very pump it's a cheap one it's come from Europe so we'll see how it performs but it's a DC model so it's very energy saving which I'm always conscious about so it's 50 watts but it's a variable pump so you can turn it down and turn it up so I'm hopefully going to get a sweet spot and it should be sucking the poop up just a bit better than the one I've got in there currently because it was just what I had I thought I'll see how I go and I'll definitely run into trouble with that now so that's coming today <coughs> so excuse me <coughs> so the minute I get that I'll probably do just a small unboxing video of it let you guys have a look at it I'm sure you might be aware of them but obviously you'll be aware of them for the, the bigger ones that took about 20,000 litres an hour out but these, this one, the model I brought is only 5,000 litres and hopefully I can knock it down for about 1,000 litres, 1,200 we'll see what happens anyway but I might be able to wrap this up hopefully it might cope and go through this filter system and come out the bottom there on the blade without it backing up in these chambers so but we'll see once we get it installed but it's coming today so I've been waiting a long time for that because I've been running into trouble so I'll show you the water with all the pooing and then I'm going to show you some footage of the water without the UV on it so you notice in one of my previous videos that I changed the UVC lamp in here because the water just got absolutely ridiculous it just shows you that having the UV on and how much clearer your water is that it's, it's pretty crucial and a setup and a pond because incidentally there's a ballast in there so as you can see this wire here literally brand new but to buy this brand new the part for it about 23.99 got delivered because the old ballast lamp it was tripping the whole house out so it's tripping the lcd board back at the main board so it's obviously getting there's something wrong with it so i've literally just took it out never had it on because i knew it did it anyway when I first brought it, I inherited this with the small first bat that I had. So I know it was doing it. So I've got a new ballast now, I've got the light on, so I'll show you some footage of the poop and what I'm struggling with there. But I'm getting a pump today to hopefully cure that problem because every day I'm just managing it with the siphon. I'm just keeping on topping it manually that way. But obviously, if I can get a device to do it for me. I certainly will do so that'll come today and I'll show you two pieces of footage again one with the water with it having no UV I've never had a UV on since the start of this and then the footage about a week after since I fitted the new UVC lamp and you'll see the difference in the water quality there it's a lot clearer but there's still obviously poop in there so I'm hoping to get that sorted out 
with the new pump that's coming today. So, hope you all enjoy that footage, uh, and I'll catch you at the very end. but that's the vat so over in the we're on the main pond now fish are looking okay water is looking okay I'm always cleaning this skimmer out because this is catching a lot of A lot of blanket wheel at the moment and green stuff because everything's blossoming. Notice that this fish is developing a little sore, but I always thought that was a scale. There is a scale at the bottom of there, so I'm hoping that it's just a new scale trying to come out, so we've got a bit of a issue there but hopefully it's not too serious. I don't really want to put it down to the water quality and stuff but I'll just obviously keep my eye on that for the coming months. So I've got a video of me cleaning this skimmer out but let me just show you take this basket out. So there's all the food that it catches. I'll just show you this quickly. I'm going to clean this properly and I've got a video of me cleaning this so just go and check it out. But look at that. So it's definitely worth having a skimmer when you set up. Sure. I've also got to clean this filter cage as well. So I'll just sit my water back through one of them. Skin this 
catching all the food again that was left over from probably yesterday when I last fed them. I'm not going crazy with food because your, your filters aren't that mature yet but I will be cleaning that out but I'm not going to show you that. I will be cleaning that as well. I'm not going to show you that. I'm trying to show you in the filter house in the skimmer. I haven't got my light with me so you might struggle to see. So I've just cut in here and got a light so you can see actually the muck that's in there rather than just looking at a black hole. So that makes more sense to you now. So before anything's hitting, the first really stage of me, let's say any amount of bio being built on this system in it is in this one. The skimmers taking a lot of that out and the sieves obviously taking the boat loads out as well. So for you guys that haven't maybe got anything that manual or anything like that in your pond, and let's say it just goes through a pressure filter, then you know it's uh, proofs in the pudding there with that footage for me. So Thanks again for watching all these videos and spending your time. I really do appreciate it. Any comments you want to leave, please feel free to leave in the section below. So we're all keeping safe and well. Subscribe if you want more. I'm definitely going to do video on that pump that's coming over in the polytunnel vat. I really can't wait for that. As I say, we're all keeping safe, staying home. This is a bit of enjoyment for us all. I live next to a B road and the traffic's pretty. Well, it's a lot quieter. I know as I've just said that there's three cars just gone down there and over four been nice to do some live filming some live commentary as normally kind of film voiceover because of the road so everybody keep safe and bye for now